Yakusha, Siberia, is a place known as the Valley of Death. There are more than 100,000 square kilometers of land, mostly uncharted. According to Yakushan legends, this is where a major event occurred around 800 years ago. The legend speaks of fire and explosions coming from the sky, allegedly caused by a battle between the gods. After the battle, these strange metal structures were seen. Many locals and travelers have reported seeing these strange metal objects. They are known as the Cauldrons of Siberia because they are said to look like upside down metal cauldrons made of copper or something that resembles copper. They are believed to be spread out underground across the Valley of Death and are often said to be surrounded by strange looking bushes, trees, and tall grass. Being around the cauldron structure has made many people sick with an illness that resembles radiation poisoning. Animals stay away from the area. The first cauldron encounters were reported by the Evenk people. The Evenk people were nomads that traveled through the area. One story tells of a woman whose grandfather showed her a metal arch that was coming out of the ground. Inside was a spiral staircase and a few chambers, all made of metal. Her grandfather told her it was always warm inside, no matter how cold it got outside. There are many tales of hunters staying inside these structures, but they often become sick, and if they stayed in too long, would die. Later, a few who explored the area reported seeing these structures. In 1853, an explorer known as R. Make wrote about finding a rounded metal object sticking up from the ground with trees growing around it. In 1936, a geologist was being led through the area by natives when he came across a rounded metal object around two centimeters in thickness. He said it was tall enough to go under while riding on a reindeer. He later gathered a team to go on an expedition. They returned to the area to find and study the strange metal cauldron structures. They were accompanied by a local who had also seen the cauldron structure before, but they were unable to find it. A man named Mikhail Korteski wrote about finding these cauldrons to a newspaper. The first time was when he went with his father in 1933 to pan for gold. He was 10. He then went again in 1937 with only a guide, and again with his friends in 1947. He said that he saw seven cauldrons, all made of the copper-looking metal that were between six and nine meters in diameter. He stated that he didn't think they were made of copper because they would not chip or dent, even when hit with a sharp chisel. He also said they seemed to have a layer of emery-like material on them. The last time he had gone with his friends, they noticed the plants around the cauldron were very different from what was normally found around the area, very lush and much larger. There was strange grass, eight or nine feet tall, and burdock plants with very large leaves. Six of them stayed the night in one of the cauldrons. He said they didn't see chambers or stairs that had been reported by others. They stayed the night without any problems. No one felt sick. But three months later, one man lost all of his hair and had three match-sized sores on the cheek he slept on. The sores never went away. They tried to break a piece off the cauldrons, but failed. But instead took a small stone from inside one that was half a sphere 
six centimeters in diameter, black and perfectly smooth. The stone has since been lost. In 1971, a couple of researchers from the town of Mirni in Yakusha reported that an old hunter from the Evenk people was in an area between two rivers. He claimed there was a large, three-faceted iron harpoon. And not far from that was a burrow made of iron, with thin, one-eyed people laying inside, who had clothing on made of iron. He said he would take anyone there who wanted to go, but nobody believed the man, and he eventually died. The most recent expedition happened around 2013. It was led by Michel Visok. Visok didn't find the cauldrons, but did find something below the water in the swamp. He describes finding objects under the water, about two to three feet deep. They walked on them and say they sounded metallic when hit. The tops felt smooth, but they also had sharp points around the outside edges. Out of the 18 members, two of them became sick while investigating. The scientific explanation offered for the circular pools is they are caused by pingos. Pingos are underground methane gas bubbles. But that doesn't explain the spherical metal structures that have been reported. Another theory is they may be a secret military experiment. The Soviets used the area to test bombs in the 1950s. Some theories credit aliens saying the cauldrons are underground bunkers that were built to protect against meteorites or other hostile aliens. Or maybe they are crashed alien crafts. We may never know what these strange metal cauldrons are, or if they even do exist under the frozen ground in Siberia. But it does seem something strange is going on. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, I recommend what's happening in Port Chatham, Alaska, or the cannibals in Hummel Park.